Hi, I'm here in Dublin Zoo, which is located just outside of the city centre in the Phoenix Park. The zoo is the largest of its kind in Ireland and it's one of Dublin's most popular tourist attractions. They opened the doors here in 1831 and is actually the fourth oldest zoo in the entire world. The zoo is made up of nine separate areas, some of which are World of Cats, World of Primates, City Farm and probably most importantly, Endangered Species. The staff here carry out conservation, education and study and the zoo's mission statement is to work with other zoos worldwide and contribute to the conservation of endangered species. The zoo covers an impressive 60 acres of the Phoenix Park and is home to 235 separate species of tropical birds and wild animals. Last year the zoo had a staggering 932,000 visitors, so I hope they can get even more in 2009. I'm going to go and have a look around. Here I am at the Sumatran Tiger enclosure. The Sumatran Tiger comes from the island of Sumatra, which is located in Southeast Asia, in Indonesia. Some of this big cat's unique characteristics are that it has narrower stripes with a more bearded and maned appearance, especially in the males. It also is the smallest of the tiger subspecies, which makes it easier to move through the dense rainforest which forms part of its habitat. It also has webbing in between its toes, which enables it to be an extremely fast swimmer. It has been known to drive hoof prey into local river systems. While the actual populations are unknown, it is estimated between 100 and 400 individuals exist in the wild today. All the other fellows lying down over here. You can't see, just behind the trees and behind the stones, he's lying down over there. How do you know? I can see you. I'm taller. I can see you. It's short. I've just witnessed the two latest additions to the Sumatran Tiger family here in Dublin Zoo. Two beautiful cubs born on the 29th of May to Mother Saigra. The cubs are doing extremely well and will eventually perform part of an international breeding program. Dublin Zoo plays a significant role in this and previous cubs from Saigra have formed part of this program too. They have an adoptive father called Capella who came from Chester Zoo in England and he is proving very caring and affectionate towards the cubs. You can come to Dublin Zoo and see the tigers now for yourself. They're absolutely beautiful. All in all, there's something to give. All in all, there's something to give. All in all, there's something to do. All in all, there's something to do. All in all, there's something to live. And now to an avian predator a lot of people will be familiar with due to its appearance in the Harry Potter movies. This is of course the beautiful snowy owl. This yellow-eyed white bird can reach a height of 60 centimetres with a potential wingspan of 150 centimetres. The adult male is virtually pure white with females and younger birds containing some dark markings. Their coloration and plumage make them ideal for eye north of the Arctic Circle. These birds winter south through Canada and northernmost Europe with some being spotted as far south as County Mayo on the west coast. I got a report of one such incident last year and I went to investigate. Unfortunately that time I was unlucky. These birds play a really important part of the ecosystem in the tundra and they hunt lemmings and arctic hares. Hopefully next winter we'll get more visitors to Ireland and I can go and visit them and actually see them in the wild. There was a small sample out of the 235 separate species available to see here at Dublin Zoo. My name is Philip Griffin, hope you enjoyed watching.